Hey everyone, my name is Courtney and I'm on the team here at Visible Body and today I am going to walk you through a virtual dissection of the heart. I will be using Human Anatomy Atlas, which is our very snazzy anatomy reference app. So if you have the app, feel free to follow along with me. Now before we begin, I want to uh, go through the tools that we're going to be using. The first is the breadcrumb trail, which lets you select big groups within a body system. The second is the multi-select tool, which lets you pick multiple structures on the screen. And the third is the history tool, which lets you move back and forth through the actions you've already done. Okay, you ready? Let's begin. First on the list, the pericardium, which is a protective fibrocerous sac that contains the heart and the roots of the great vessels. And I am going to hide that first. Now I've got a great view of the heart with the coronary vessels visible on the outer surface. Now the coronary arteries, highlighted here, are key because they circulate blood through the heart tissue, while the coronary veins carry deoxygenated blood from the heart tissue into the right atrium, where it's then sent to the lungs to be pumped back full of oxygen. Now, using the breadcrumb trail, I am going to hide the vessels now I've got a great view of the sternal costal surface of the heart. And I'm actually going to hide that as well so we get a great view of the inside. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Pretty nifty. Now we have the atria, which receive blood, and the ventricles, through which blood exits the heart. And here is the interventricular septum which separates the right and left ventricles. Now valves control blood flow through the four chambers. The tricuspid and mitral valves open to admit blood in and out of the heart and close to prevent backflow. They're attached to the ventricles by the chordae tendinae, right here, which are attached to papillary muscles. Now, <laughs> hiding over here, let's turn this, is the aortic valve, which controls blood flow out of the heart and into the aorta, where it's then pumped throughout the rest of the body. And over here is the pulmonary valve, which manages blood flow out through the pulmonary trunk to the lungs. So if I hide the valves, we get a great view uh, into the atria. And you know what? I'm actually going to hide the great vessels. Gone. The atria I'm hiding as well. And I've got this cool looking guy floating in the back. Now this is actually the conduction system, which is controlled by the autonomic nervous system and sends electric impulses to motivate the contractions of the heart. You're looking at your heartbeat, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to hide that too. And what am I left with? Well, the most basic thing of all, cardiac muscle. Now cardiac muscle is made up of layers, but I want to focus on the myocardium at the moment. Now I mentioned earlier that the contractions of the heart are stimulated by the conduction system, but it's here that they occur. The muscle contractions in the myocardium causes the heart's signature pumping, which forces blood in and out of the heart. And there you have it, the human heart in a nutshell. Now using the history button, I am going to go back to our original view. Here we have it, a beautiful human heart. I hope you enjoyed this. Once again, my name is Courtney. I'm on the team here with Visible Body, and thanks for joining me. If you want to learn more, feel free to visit us at www.visiblebody.com.